In this video, I will show you how to deploy Notepad++ using group policy, and we will deploy it using two different methods. One is when we assign the policy to our computers, and then the computers install the software during startup. And the other one is when we assign the policy to our users, and then the users themselves can install the software. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information that I will be using for this video. And here in the bottom, you can find more of my videos that are related to this one. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup. Here you can find the extra settings and the group policies that I'm using when deploying software using group policy. And here you can find videos about Wix toolset. And it is a tool that we will use in this video for packaging the executable into a MSI file. And you can find the URL for this page in the description down below. And now let's get started by downloading Notepad++ and I will be using this link right here. And as you can see, it brings us to the Notepad++ download page. I will select the latest version and select the installer. And now we can go to our downloads folder. And here we have our executable. And the first problem that we need to solve here is to package this executable into MSI file, because we can only use MSI files when deploying software using group policy. And for that, I will be going back to my GitHub page, because as you can see here, there is this Wix configuration file that I will be using in this video for packaging the executable into MSI file. And I will be downloading by clicking this button right here. And then we can go back to our downloads folder. And now I will open it using Visual Studio Code. And as you can see here, I already have the information filled in. And if you want to uh, try this exact configuration yourself, just make sure to change these two uh, variables because uh, the executable name has the version number. So if you are watching this video in a later time, it might change. And here you need to provide where the executable is currently located. And my downloads folder is in the D drive. And that's not very standard. So make sure that this path is correct and the file name is correct. Everything else is a bit less important. So now I will close this configuration file and my Visual Studio. And then let's go to our command line. And then I need to change the directory to where I have my executable. So for me, it's the D drive. And then downloads. And as you can see here, we have our executable and the configuration file. And now I will use Wix to package the executable into a MSI file. And for that, I will type Wix, build, and then I need to provide the configuration file name. And that's this one. And as you can see, the MSI file appeared in our downloads folder. And now we can use this file with group policy. So the next step is to move this file to our server. So I will copy it, then go to Vember workstation, where I have my Windows Server instances installed and I will be moving this file to my desktop. And now I need to move this file from my desktop to a network share. And for that, I have already set up a server and it's SRV02. As you can see, uh, we have a software share and it's currently empty. And in this uh, share, I will create a folder. I will name it Notepad++. And then I will move the MSI, MSI file into this shared folder. And the most important part here is the permissions. So let's check them by going to properties and into the security uh, tab. And as you can see here, uh, we have authenticated users with read permissions. And I'm using authenticated users here because authenticated users covers both users and the computers in our domain. That means that computers and users uh, that are in our domain can read from this share and read permissions is all that they need for installing software. And if you want to know more about uh, this, you can watch my video about installing file server role and preparing a share for software deployment. So now I will close this window and now we can go to our server manager and start creating our policies. For that, I will go to Tools, 
then select group policy management and now let's expand our group policy objects let's right click on group policy objects and click on new and here i will name this policy assign notepad plus plus and click ok then let's right click on the policy and click edit and first we will create a policy that we'll be assigning to our computers so that the computer installs the software during startup and for that we need to go to the computer configuration expand policies expand software settings and select software installation and then let's right click inside select new and click on packages and here the important part is to select a file from a network location for example if i select uh, a file an, an msi file from my desktop the policy would still create uh, but the software installation would fail because the computer or the user would not have access to the server's desktop uh, folder so always uh, check the link and make sure that it's a network path for me it's the SRV02 the software share the folder that we created and the MSI file and here we select assigned and click OK and that's basically it for this policy next thing is we need to select it here and then I will select a VMI filter and I will use 64-bit OS so that this uh, policy only works on computers that have 60-bit operating system and also we can go to details and disable the user configuration part of this policy because this policy currently has only computer configuration and the last thing that we need to do is to link this policy to an organization unit that is holding our computers on which we want to deploy the software in my case it will be the domain computers one so i will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop on the organization unit and that's it now we can go to one of our client computers and see if the policy is working correctly so for that i will use this client right here I will open a command line and I will do GP update. And as you can see right here, it's basically saying that it detected a software installation policy and that it needs a reboot to install the software. So for that, I will restart the computer by typing shut down minus R minus T and zero. And let's see what happens. And as you can see right here, it said at least that it was installing Notepad++, but the message went away quickly. So let's log in and see if the software was really installed. So for that, I will just create a new file on my desktop, right click on the file, show more options. And as you can see, now we have this uh, option to open it with Notepad++ plus plus, and it seems that it works just fine. So that's how the software is installed when assigning it to the computers. Now let's do another policy when we assign the policy uh, to our users and then let them decide what software and when to install. So for that let's go back to our domain controller. Now let's right click on group policy objects once again, click new and this time I will name it publish notepad plus plus and okay let's right click on the policy and click edit and this time it's the user configuration so we go to user configuration expand policies expand software settings select software installation and let's right click here and new and package and once again always check the path here if it's the low if it's the network uh, location and if it is then we can select the file and this time we set it at published and click ok and we can close this window select the policy go to details and in gpo status we can this time disable the conf 
the computer configuration part because this policy contains only user configuration and the last part is to link this policy to our organization unit that is holding our users and this is a domain users for me at least so i will click and hold and drag to the organization unit And as you can see, the policy appeared right here. And same is with the domain computers. We have the assigned notepad plus plus here. And this time I will go to this client that doesn't have notepad plus plus installed. And we need to go to CMD and do GP update. And because it's a user policy, we don't need to restart the computer because now we can go to our software installation menu and we see the package here so i will double click on the package and it installed almost instantly let's do the same like on other client and create a text document on our desktop and as you can see we have an option to edit with notepad plus plus and it seems to work just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you in the next one.